For naming polygons, polygons are named based on how many sides they have. We give special names to polygons with 3 to 10 sides and then the 12 sided polygon. And this is all shown in the table below. So if our polygon has 3 sides, it is a triangle. 4 sides is always a quadrilateral. 5 sides is a pentagon. 6 sides is a hexagon. 7 sides is what's called a heptagon. 8 sides is an octagon. 9 sides is a nonagon. 10 sides is a decagon. And 12 sides is a dodecagon. Anything above that or an 11 sided figure is called an n-gon. For example, a 20 sided figure There we go. Is called a 20 gon. And if you think about these, the prefixes should sound familiar. Triangle, tri, we've already learned to associate with three. Quadrilateral, quad means four. Pentagon, pent, penta is five. Hexagon, hex is six. Heptagon, hept is seven. Octagon, oct, oct is eight, like octopus. And then we see the same with nonagon, decagon, dodecagon. So make sense of these names. Make it so that you can easily remember them. Associate them with other words that also use these prefixes. Like decagon, think of decade. We already know decade means 10 years. So decagon means 10 sides. OK, for practice, look at the shapes below and then name the polygons based on how many sides they have. Pause the video and resume when you're ready to see your solution. The first shape has four sides, so is a quadrilateral. Next, we have our lightning bolt, which has one, two, three, oops. Let's recount those. I skipped a side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So this is an eleven gone. This L has one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have a, there we go, hexagon. One, two, three is a triangle. One, two, three, four, five is a pentagon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Dodecagon. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We have another dodecagon. Okay. If you still have questions on this, look to your textbook. Try some practice shapes that you just find around you in everyday life and try to name those. And go back and review the definitions above. If not, if this makes perfect sense, go on to the next video which discusses types of polygons.